everyone. Welcome to season two, episode seven of Mommy and Me Tutorials. We have another unequal sharing question today. Yes, I'll read. Mal purchased two dresses, four belts, and six necklaces for six hundred and forty-eight dollars. Mm -hmm. However, Evie purchased two dresses, two belts, and four necklaces for four hundred and ninety-four dollars. Okay. Calculate how much Audrey would have to pay in total for three belts and five necklaces if one necklace costs four dollars more than a belt. Okay. So we know that Mal and Evie are both purchasing dresses, belts, and necklaces. necklaces. All right. However, what does Audrey want to purchase? Audrey wants to purchase three belts and five necklaces. So Audrey does not want to purchase any dresses at all? No, no dresses. No, Audrey's not purchasing any dresses. She just wants to purchase belts, belts and, and necklaces. necklaces. All right. But we have another important piece of information. The question states that one necklace costs four dollars more than a belt. Great. So we need to calculate how much money Audrey is will have to pay if she wants to purchase her three belts and five necklaces. All right. Good job so far. So the we need to first write down what we know. We need to pull out the information from the question. Yes. We have two persons, Mal, Mal and Evie. Evie, that we have information for. Yes. So we want to pull out that information. And we know that both of them purchase dresses, dresses belts, belts, and, and necklaces. necklaces. Hence, dresses, belts, and necklaces would be our headings. Good. So we want to lay out our information like this. And then to the left side, we want to put... The names of the two people that we have information about. Okay, great. And then under dresses, we will state how much Mal has yes. and Evie. And under belts, we're going to state how much both Mal and Evie have. And, and under necklaces, necklaces, we're going to state how much necklaces that both Mal and, and Evie, Evie have. have. Good. And then we'll also state the total on your right-hand side. Yes, the prices. Yes. Right. Good. So let's see now. Mal purchased two, two dresses, dresses plus, plus four belts plus six necklaces and that cost $648. Great. However, Evie purchased two dresses plus two belts plus mm -hmm. four necklaces, mm -hmm. which cost $494. Right. Great. So what is our first step in this question? Because we need to figure out how much Audrey is going to pay for her items. Yes. Yes. Wait, so they are buying a lot of dresses and a lot of belts and a lot of necklaces though. Where are they going? They are going to a ball. Okay. And uh, the assumption in these questions are that they are be buying the same dresses, dresses. <laughs> and the same, same belts and the, the same, same necklaces. necklaces. So they want to look like twins. They want to match. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. What is the first step? The first step is to minus Evie's amount from Mal's amount. So why though? Why do we need to do that? We so need to eliminate dresses from the working because the question specifically asks for the cost of belts and necklaces only. Right, because Audrey is only purchasing belts and, and necklaces. necklaces. She's not purchasing any dresses. None. So we need to eliminate dresses altogether, right? <laughs> so how do we do that? What does eliminate mean though? Well, first of all, there are four operations that we can use in this, these type of questions. Okay, four operations. All yes. Right. What are they? We can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. Oh, that's different from an operation that a doctor would perform. Yes. <laughs> or a doctor would sometimes subtract things and add things. All right. No, no okay, too technical. <laughs> so... Let's begin. We want to eliminate dresses. In this question, what does eliminate mean? Well, the word eliminate means to remove or cancel. Hence, mm -hmm. the operation that we would use is subtraction. All right. So we need to remove or cancel. So we need to get rid of dresses. Yes. yes. Goodbye dresses. Goodbye dresses. We need to let it go. Let, let it go. go. Let, let it go. <laughs> How do we do that? <laughs> By subtracting. So two dresses minus two equal to 
zero dresses. So we have no more, no dresses, more dresses remaining. So again, remember we are minusing Evie's amounts of dresses, belts, and necklaces from, from miles, miles amounts. amounts, all right? And we just saw how we eliminated dresses, dresses by minusing. The two amounts. Right, so two of miles dresses minus two of EV dresses equals to zero. zero dresses. Okay, so what do we do next with belts now? Minus belts. So we need so, to minus our belts as well. Yes. Okay, how? So miles four belts minus EV's two belts right. will give us two belts. Okay, all right. So that's a good way of, of explaining it. No problem. What do we need to do next with necklaces? Minus the necklaces. So Mal's six necklaces minus mm -hmm. Evie's four necklaces will give us two necklaces. So if we are minusing the amounts of dresses, belts, and necklaces, we do we need also, to... Yes, we also oh. need to... <laughs> you know, you read my mind. I'm your daughter. I can read your mind. You know what I'm thinking. Yes. Okay. I know what you're thinking too, sometimes. What? No, well, sometimes, in general. How about now? You're thinking that 648 minus 494 <laughs> will give us $154. See, I knew that's what you were going to say. <laughs> so, so far now we have eliminated dresses, dresses from, from the working. Right. So we have two, two belts, belts plus two, two necklaces, necklaces equals to $154. Hmm. Okay. And we're doing this, we eliminated dresses from our working because Audrey only wants to purchase belts and, and necklaces. necklaces. So that's why we had to find a way to eliminate dresses. And again, in these types of questions, we have to look at one of the four operations, right? Yes, to course. know how to eliminate dresses. So if we added two plus two, we would not have eliminated dresses. No, we would have gotten four, which is more. But there the amount that any of them have. Which is not zero. Yes. <laughs> and we couldn't multiply and we couldn't divide, divide right? Because if we multiply two times two equals four. four. And if we divided two divided by two equals one. So, one. so, so we, we did, if we used any of those other operations that instead of subtraction, right. we would not have gotten zero. So in this question, the only way to eliminate addresses was to subtract. Right. Okay. <laughs> So every question is different. So we have to be careful. Yes. Yeah. Okay. What is step two? Step two is to divide by two. So this is required to find mm -hmm. the cost of one belt and one mm -hmm. necklace. Right. So Audrey wants to purchase three, three belts. belts. So we need to find the cost of one belt first. Yes. And then Audrey wants to purchase five, five necklaces. necklaces. That's a lot of necklaces though. Okay. She she has extras in case they break. Oh yeah, that happens. <laughs> so we need to find the, the cost of one, one necklace. necklace. Okay. So we know that. So remember, we eliminated dresses. We have zero dresses. We eliminated that. We know that we have belts, belts and, and necklaces. necklaces. We know that we have two belts and, and two necklaces, which should cost which equal to $154. So now we need to find for one belt and one necklace. If I have two belts and two necklaces, which one of the four operations do I have to use to find for one belt and one necklace? Hmm. We have to divide by divide two. by two. And if we, because we can't add. Yes, because two add two will give you four, which is right. not one belt. We can't add anything, okay. And we can't subtract because then we'll get zero belts. Right. So we decided to div divide. divide. So two. Mm -hmm. Two divided by two will give us one belt. Okay. And two necklaces divided by two is one necklace. Good. So then do we need to divide the cost as well by yes. two? Yes. So the cost is equal to $154 divided by two, which is $77. Right, okay. So what do we know? The cost of? One belt plus one necklace equal to mm -hmm. $77. Sounds good to me. Yes. Yes. What is our next step? Our next step is to mm -hmm. subtract the extra from the total. Hmm. So we know that one belt plus? One necklace equal to $77. But we also know something else. <laughs> You're about to get. What else do we know? The cost of one necklace is four dollars more than the cost of a belt. So which one is more expensive? 
a belt or a necklace? A necklace is more expensive because it costs $4 more than a belt. And in unequal sharing, what do we assign the symbol to? So in, we always use a box for our symbol. Yes. Yes. We always <laughs> assign a box to the lowest share. And in this question, the lowest share or the lower of the two yes. shares is a belt, belt because it's the cheaper of, of the, the two. two items. Because one necklace costs four dollars more than a belt yeah that's more expensive yes definitely hence we will assign a box, box to, to belt. belt and the cost of one necklace will be the cost box. of a belt which is box right plus an additional four dollars right so box here and box here would be the same amount right yes great so all together we are saying that box plus box plus Four dollars equal to seventy-seven dollars. Okay, and just a recap: this box is from Belt, this and this is box plus four dollars, which is the cost of one necklace. Good, and we're adding that up together. So, but we need to re subtract, right? Remove yes. the extra from, from the, the total. total. What is the extra? What is the total? Hmm. The extra would be that at that additional. Four dollars. Right. So that's at four dollars from here. Yes. Yeah. And the total would be the total cost of the items, which would be seventy-seven dollars. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So then this becomes box plus box mm -hmm. is equal to the total, which is seventy-seven dollars, right. minus the extra, which is four dollars, and yeah. box plus box equal to seventy-three dollars. Yay. <laughs> so, so right now what do we know we know that the cost of one belt and one necklace equal to 73 dollars and hence right now because we eliminated the extra from the total we know that box equals belt box equals the necklace and hence both belt and necklace have equal, equal shares. shares okay so the cost the same, the same. okay what is the next step? Step four. Step four is to calculate the cost of one belt. Why? Because Audrey wants to purchase three, three belts. belts. So before we calculate the cost of three belts, we need to calculate the cost of one, one belt. belt. So we so. know that one belt plus one necklace equal mm. to $73. Right. And we also know that box plus box equal to $73. Great. And if I have a cardboard box and you have a cardboard box, one cardboard box plus one cardboard box equals to? Two cardboard boxes. Yay, you have two boxes. <laughs> or if you give them to me. <laughs> so two boxes equal to? $73. And if I want to find how much one box costs, costs what do I need to do? $73 divided by two because that is because we have two boxes, right. hence one box two equal shares, two equal shares, hence one box or one share mm -hmm. equals to $36.50. But remember, we assign a box to the belt because it is the lower share, right? Hence, the cost of one belt equals to. $36.50. Okay, makes sense. So now we can calculate how much Audrey is going to pay for three, three belts. belts. How do we do that? We know that. The cost of one belt is equal to $36.50. Hence, the cost of three belts would be $36.50 right. multiplied by three, and we would get $109.50. Yay! So that's how much Audrey is going to pay for her three belts. She yes. has a lot of money. Yes. A lot of money, $109.50. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> so what do we need to do next? What's the next step? Calculate the cost of one necklace. So Audrey wants to purchase five necklaces. So but before we calculate we know, that. Yes, we calculated the cost of one belt. But we know that the cost of one necklace is $4 more than a belt. So if the cost of one belt is equal to $36.50, mm -hmm. the cost of one necklace would be the cost of one belt plus $4. Mm -hmm. 
Right. So, so that's, that's because one necklace is four dollars more, more than, than a belt. belt. So the cost of one necklace equals to the cost of a belt plus that's four dollars more. And what was the cost of one belt? $36.50. Good. And then we need to add that additional $4, which mm -hmm. would be $36.50 mm -hmm. plus $4. And the cost of one necklace is equal to $40.50. Great. So Audrey wants to purchase five necklaces. necklaces. We just calculated the cost of, of one, one necklace, necklace, which is $40.50. So can we calculate the cost of the five necklaces? Yes. So the cost of the five necklaces mm -hmm. would be $40.50 right. multiplied by five, and we would get $202.50. Yay. So this is how much Audrey is going to pay for her five, five necklaces. necklaces. Very good. So altogether, we need to find what now? We need to find mm -hmm. Audrey's total. So, so how much she's going to pay all together for, for three, three belts, belts and, and five, five necklaces. necklaces? So we know that the cost of three belts equal to $109.50. Right. And the cost of five necklaces equal to $202.50. So we can just add it up. Yes, to yeah. find Audrey. So total means which of the four operations? Add. Add. So that's what total means. Yes. So that's a key word. Yes. So once we see the word total, we know we have to add. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the cost of three belts mm -hmm. plus five necklaces, right. which would be that's three belts there. One hundred and nine dollars and fifty cents plus. Two hundred and two dollars mm -hmm. and fifty cents. Yes, and the cost, the total cost, is three hundred and twelve dollars. And what did the question ask us to do? To, to calculate, calculate the total. How much Audrey yes. would have to pay in right. total right. for three belts and five necklaces. Great. And we did answer the question. And our total equals to three hundred and twelve dollars. Oh, I hope Audrey has that amount. Yes. Yes, she does. <laughs> so she's going to go home with a three belts and five necklaces and attend that ball. Yes. Yes. All right. What, what dress is she going to wear, though? She probably has a good dress at home. She has a good dress already. All right. So she's not going to be matching Mal and Evie. No. No. She'll wear a different dress. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's it, guys. Bye. We hope this video helps. Bye. Bye. <laughs>